Hello everyone, my name is Michelle Caruso. Welcome to my channel where you learn how to get connected and thrive in the film industry. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. Today I'll be discussing how to use IMDB, which stands for International Movie Database. For this tutorial, I have IMDB Pro, so if you only have a free version, uh, you may not be able to do everything, but just please be aware that IMDB does offer a 30-day free trial. And this video came as a request, so thank you guys so much for reaching out and let me know uh, whenever you're feeling stuck or um, are looking for answers on something specific. Alright, let's get into it. Now when I first started off in the industry, I was a set PA. Usually production companies and studios will only take the time to list the um, above the line crew. So for me, if you're at the very bottom of the ladder, <laughs> you gotta do it yourself. And if you're an actor um, or even crew that's looking to be you know, above the line, and this is also why I got IMDb Pro, what's great is you can look up um, some production companies and agents and managers, and sometimes their contact information is listed. Okay, let's dive in how to add yourself to a TV show or feature film. Type in the name of the show, I'll use one of my past credits, Stranger Things. All right, and click on the show and scroll down to see full cast. And in the upper right, you'll click edit. Okay, now depending on what your role was, uh, you may have to do some searching. So are you within cast and crew? For this example, I'll act like I'm adding it as an art department coordinator, which has been my primary position. So art department coordinator is within the art department. So I'm gonna go to art department and uh, go to add one credit. And then we'll scroll to the bottom here and hit continue. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my name. Now I am not new to IMDB, so I already have a profile, so I just have to click on my profile. Now for episodic, you'll wanna be specific on what season and episodes you worked on. For example, if you only worked on season three, episode one, be honest about that. Now this is just a demo, but the reason why I chose Stranger Things in season three, that was the last season I worked on. Um, so it shouldn't, you know, cause any red flags. Okay, so I would hit season three and then you do have to add each episode. For this one, I'm just gonna select episode one for the sake of time. Occupation. Hmm, so this is tricky. I'm an art department coordinator and I don't see it in the art department section. No worries, here's what you do. You're gonna click out of that box and go to the second blank box and hit this little symbol. I know, clear as mud. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of other options here. Uh, you can either search through it or you can type in your occupation. Yep, this is taking too long, so I'm just gonna type in my occupation. Art department coordinator. Attribute, I do leave blank. Check these updates. Okay, so as you can see, the box turned yellow and you can see this credit has warnings. You must acknowledge each one before this credit will be accepted. We have suggestions. So since there's a few Michelle Caruso's on IMDb, I wanna make sure I'm selecting me. And that's me, our department coordinator, baby driver. So I will select that one. If you're trying to add someone that is completely new to IMDb, uh, but there may be uh, other people with the same name, you can also select this. This is a different person not currently listed. Or if you're really not sure, uh, you can just say, I'm not sure, let IMDb staff decide. Okay, great. And you can see this little green box at the bottom that says the following fixes have been applied. And if I was submitting this, I would click recheck these updates and ideally everything would turn green. If it still hasn't turned green, that means that there is one more selection that you have to make. But after your box turns green, then you can submit it to IMDB for approval. All right, let's try editing a person's profile. So here's mine and I'm gonna scroll down and click edit. 
So if I had uh, some other updates or changes I want to make uh, to my filmography, I can do that here. And let's see what this looks like on IMDb Pro. Okay, so here's more of the back end where you can do more edits. Okay, so it's been a minute since I've updated my IMDb profile, so I'm going to click Edit on these details. In Actors, this is where you can get really specific about your skills. So feel free to explore all these submenus. Okay, and once you're done, click Save. You might have to scroll to the bottom. And we're going to close out of that. So to get that uh, profile picture that you see, uh, you can just do click add an image and then uh, there's also an option to make it your default. Add image and then navigate to the file that you'd like to add and then you'd hit submit. Now there's varying uh, views if crew should have headshots, uh, cast obviously do. Um, but with the influx of social media, I find it's okay to um, have a crew headshot or, you know, another good example can be you working as behind the scenes. Contacts. Add contact info. Direct contact details. That's very helpful to have in there. I'm just going to list my email and I'm going to hit submit. And this is mostly instantaneous. I had to refresh my page um, a few times to get it to show up. Okay, so let's take a look at these tabs. Filmography are your credits. About. This is more important for actors, but feel free to add in what you'd like. Okay, and if I want to edit this section, I go to Edit About. So as you can see, there's a few selections here. So feel free to mess around in these submenus, but just know they're here. Ooh, official website. I want to get my link in here. Okay, official sites. Add one item. Continue. All right, I always like to copy and paste links just to make sure I don't have any typos. So I go into my website, copy, bring it in here, paste. Hmm, do I need a description? I don't know that it doesn't have an asterisk. Let's try it. We'll click check these updates. Nope, it turned red. Okay, so I do need a description. We're going to call this website. Recheck these updates. Great, it turned green. Submit these updates. For something like this, where it gives you a contribution number, that means IMDB needs to review it. So it may take um, a few hours or a few days for them to look at what you submitted and approve it or not. And you can also click on your contribution history to check on the status on if anything you've submitted. So we'll click on mine. So you can see the one we just did, as well as the ones that um, are my existing credits. Okay, let's go back to my IMDb Pro profile. And I just searched for myself. I didn't see an easy way of just viewing my profile. Okay, and if you scroll to the very bottom, you can edit your page. Okay, and let's go to this next tab here. Images, one for videos. Ooh, I'm going to get my demo reel up there. Uh, box office, clients, news. You know, some of this is just data. So click around. It's nice to know what your options are. But I'm going to go back here to video and upload my reel. Okay, so we select a video from your computer. We're going to click browse. I'm going to navigate to the file I'd like to upload. All right, and hit open. Video title. Michelle Caruso, real. Uh, just since I'm on a video here, I'm not going to hold up by doing a video description, but um, I'm going to circle back to do that later. Video type, demo real, maturity level. I'm going to say safe, language, English, subtitles, no. Make video private. Heck no, I want people to see my real. Okay, now hit upload. And oh boy, that's going to take a hot minute. Okay, we're going to go back to my profile and we're going to scroll to the bottom and click edit your page. And here's where you can do a custom URL or a vanity URL. So within the website name, that means it's going to be more customizable to you. So after the slash, it's not going to have all these random numbers and letters. You can have it be your name. So that's what I'm going to do here. Slash Michelle Caruso. 
And to just keep this moving, um, I'm gonna add in my vlog later, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And as you can see, guys, there's a lot of other uh, tabs that we can be exploring. You know, if there's a uh, representation that you wanna add, and this is another way to add images or videos. So just take some time to explore these tabs. So um, whatever you're trying to uh, update in your profile, you know where to find it. All right, and we're gonna hit close. Okay, and for this next bit, I'm gonna show you how to add a project, which is perfect timing for me because I've been meaning to add my next short film behind the screen. So when I was researching this earlier, there's a new title form that I found in one of their help uh, sections. So I've got the link and I'll leave it below. And that's what you're gonna want is the new title form. All right, lovely, adding a new title. So a title, go ahead and put in the name of your uh, film or show. This is a film. And for this one, I'm going to say completed and only limited non-public screenings. Because for film festivals, ideally those would be the first public screenings and some festivals do not want you to have had a premiere. Uh, but sharing a screening with, you know, cast and crew or friends is usually okay. So as you guys may have noticed in my past event, it was a digital screening. It was not a premiere. So just be careful as you're navigating uh, the film festival circuit what verbiage you use. Otherwise, you may get disqualified. I am producer, director, writer, all the things. Okay, check these updates. Okay, this is a short subject or a short film. We've already got our status and the year and the project premiere year 2021. Otherwise, if you're in prep or still production and you're not sure when it's going to be done, just go ahead and put in the four question marks. Check these updates. Okay, it's still in yellow, so that means I need to do something else. Oh, it's because of my title. There's already some existing titles with the same name, which is fine. So I'm going to say this is not an existing title because none of these projects are my behind the screen. Recheck these updates. It's still in yellow. Okay, but it came up with some new information that they need, some mandatory information. Okay, for this URL, they just want to see proof that it is a film. So I feel like the best, uh, I did not create a website for this film. I feel like I have enough to do between my website and social media. I have behind the screen on Facebook and Instagram, which I'll leave up link below so you guys can follow those if you'd like. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and list my Facebook behind the screen page. And we'll put in the description, Facebook film page. Basic identifying information. Three items required. Okay, so that means we have to uh, fill out information for three of these sections. Country. That's easy. USA. Language. English. Easy. Is it color, black and white? It is color, genre. Ooh, do they have silent film? Because that is what this is technically. Nope, we'll go with drama. Directors, that would be me. Attribute, I'm gonna put directed by. Budget, we'll skip that. Okay, it's getting pretty granular, but I'll, so that you guys can see how I can add other people, I'm gonna go ahead and put in uh, my cast. And for my cast, it's over five people, so I'm just gonna click this add 10 credits. I guess after five, it goes up uh, in increments of five. And might as well add these in too. Okay, I'm not going to go crazy with all these details, but as you can see, uh, you can really get granular, which I'll do uh, more so after this video, but this will show you the basics and you don't have to see me do each and every one of these categories. Okay, recheck these updates. Okay, and here's how you add your cast and crew. So right now we're in the cast section. And this is an actress. Okay, so you'll put in their name, and if they already have an existing IMDb account, go ahead and click that. And we'll go ahead and put in her character name. 
All right, so we'll jump ahead. You guys get the picture. Writers, that's me again. Producer, that's me again. And we'll go ahead and add um, the other producer, Michelle, Michelle Moreland. Choose producer, composers, gonna get Carl in there. And I'm not as familiar with Carl's IMDB credits, so uh, once I add all my cast and crew, I'll send out an email to let them know that the project has been uh, listed on IMDB, and uh, if they don't see their specific profile listed, they'll need to send me a link so that I can um, choose the correct Carl or Michelle or you know whoever to make sure that the correct person is listed since there may be uh, multiples of their name within IMDb. You want to make sure you're selecting the right profile. All right, let's see what happens when I recheck these updates. Oh, so here's an example where there's a few Drew Barons. So I think that the first one I selected is the right one. Again, you know, I'll ask the cast and crew to just make sure I've selected the right Drew Baron. It's just good to confirm that so that people are getting credited appropriately. Let's see if that goes through. Recheck these updates. Do a final comb through that everything is green and correct. Okay, I'm going to submit these updates. And now, as you can see, a ticket has been created for IMDb to confirm those updates. Now, I can always go back in the same way to add in the rest of the cast and crew. All right, and those are the basics of using IMDb. Please comment below if you have any questions and if there was something I did not cover. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.